us up. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome inside the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network, coming to you live from the beautiful Keating Sporting Sports Complex right outside downtown Chicago, Illinois. My name is Aaron Janowski, sitting alongside Eric Willow-White, and we are giving you men's volleyball. Your Scarlet Hawks taking on the visiting Marion University Sabres. And we're going to go over the starting lineups here really quick as they get set to play. Starting lineup for the visiting Marion Sabres. Number three, the libero, Trent Sugu Gusun. Number six, Nick Stash. Number seven, Derek Willis. Number 10, Mark Ray. Number 11, Isaac Drufrist. Number 14, Cam Mueller. Number 17, Keanu Oren Hay. And the Sabres are coached by Mr. Noah Ray in his first season. Starting lineup for your Illinois Tech, Scarlet Hawks. Number two, Elijah Johnson. Number six, Paul Henderson. Number seven, David Singer. Number nine, Grant Cooper. Number 13, Jackson Van Ingen. Number 14, Riley Late. Number 24, the sophomore, Jelani Kimoto. Your libero is number four, Alec Donald. And we are set to go. It's a big match for Illinois Tech, Aaron. They come in with a record. Let me uh, get us updated here. Six and seven in conference. Actually, that's wrong. Wrong sport. <laughs> did that to me again. Seven and 13 overall. Yeah, pulled up the women's volleyball. That's okay. Yeah. Three and four in conference. <laughs> Here's the Scarlet Hawks. And first point goes to the Hawks there, Eric. Getting off to a good start. So top eight make the postseason tournament in the conference, Aaron. Right now, the Hawks are sitting in in seventh place at three and four. Uh, they have a little bit of an edge on Concordia Chicago, who is sitting in the eighth spot. Marion is six and two in conference play right now, and they're sitting right now in the four spot with Concordia, Wisconsin, a half a game behind them at five and two. Oh. The top four teams get the the first round uh, matchup, you know, the home matchup. Sure. And it looks like the next game for the Hawks, Scarlet Hawks, will be against Concordia on the road. That should be an interesting matchup, given their status in the conference. Yeah. Sabres look like they get their first point here. They'll be serving one serving two now. Current score two to one in favor of your Scarlet Hawks. Oh. What a play, Eric. Jackson. Jackson Van Ingen. Yeah. Yeah, Jackson from that middle blocker spot. He's going to get his share. Now serving number 14, Riley Late for your Scarlet Hawks. Up it goes into the net, point four, the visiting Sabres. Serving for the Sabres, number 11, Isaac Dryfirst. His first time at the line. Spins the ball in his right hand. Up it goes and over. Hawks set up, blocked, back over by the Sabres, and scored for the Sabres. We are tied up at 3-3 here in the first game, the first set. Still serving number 11 for the Sabres. What a serve, picked up by the libero. Up and over and out. Another point for the Sabres. I think Jackson Van Egen might have been saying that was deflected. <laughs> it Either might have that been. or he thought it was in, but it did look out from my vantage point here. Now, I think with a, oh. a midday volleyball match, and you've seen it when you're in the PA seat there, Aaron, it's like the glare from the sun. Yes. You know, it can be yeah. hard, but, you know, the, the judge is right there, so she was able to see that. But I'm not sure. He didn't make a deflection signal. He just he thought that should have been a point for the Hawks. Right. Hawks serving now, tied up four to four. Over it goes. And the hit was in. That was close to the line, Eric. Yeah, that was Cam Muller there. Did a good job with the cross-court kill. 
And you're right, he, he used every inch of that far sideline to keep that one in. Yeah, now serving for the Sabres, number 10, Brian Evans. A 6'2 junior out of Spokane, Washington. Up it goes and bounces off the top of the net, but goes over. Chalani Komodo with the kill and score for the Hawks. Hawks go up, uh, tie it 5-5 five to five and back to serve for the Hawks now. It's one of the veterans. Paul Henderson, the sophomore, very skilled here. Oh, over the net, blocked. Hawks set it up. It's deflected, out of bounds, score for the Hawks. And Grant Cooper getting the near side kill there. They had the block, the wall set up on the near side, but they weren't able to square it up. And another point for the Hawks. Still serving Paul Henderson at the line. Gets the whistle. Here we go. Over the net, set up, Sabres picked up nicely by the Hawks. Sabres setting up a kill shot, and in it goes. And the Sabres tie it up six to six. Now Derek Wills getting that one there. Nothing really could do about that one. That one was served up on a tee. Yeah, that was laced in. Now serving for the Sabres, number 14, Cam Mueller out of Elgin, Illinois. And the Hawks set it up. Kill blocked back by the Sabres. Hawks set it up again. And in it goes, but out. Yeah, too long. And Grant Cooper there. Keep an eye on So, and I didn't see it in the starting lineup, but we had number three, Trent Goose Sun, as the starting libero for Marion. Now in there is 23, Dante Polfus. So we'll see if they're rotating their liberos. Yeah, great catch. And that point to the Hawks. It's tied up seven to seven. Back to serve for the Hawks. Grant Cooper, a senior out of Laguna Nigel, California. Neither team really going on a, an extended run so far, Aaron. Yeah, back and forth they go. Oh, what a nice play. Score to the Hawks, the veteran, Riley Late with the lollipop over the net and score. <laughs> yeah, that was done nicely there. Oh, into the net. And we are tied up again, 88. And as you said, Eric, neither team able to catch an extended run here. Yeah, service errors, unfortunately, have been something that have bothered the Scarlet Hawks throughout the season. Their last match, they were able to keep it down into the low. It was like 12, I think, which was not too bad. Um, you know, obviously, the, the fewer, the better. Um, but it was more attack errors in that last match that they had against Aurora. What a thunder kill shot by Riley Late, the junior for the Hawks. And the Hawks go back up by nine, back to serve. It's the sophomore, Jelani Kimoto, and here we go. Not a powerful server, but a consistent server. Setting up, back and forth they go. Sabres set up a kill shot, blocked nicely. By the oh, Scarlet nice Hawks, and dug out again by the Scarlet Hawks, pushed over. Sabres set it up. They try kill shot, blocked. Picked up by the Sabres. Oh, back and forth. What a point. Oh. Oh, and knocked out of bounds by the Hawks. Jackson Van Eggy just kind of mishit that one. He, he, he had it where he wanted to, but it just wasn't able to get that full. Put it where he wanted right, to. Yeah. Right, right, right. We're tied up at nine. And back and forth they go, blocked nicely at the net for the Scarlet Hawks. Sabres set it up, a little lollipop, and it's caught. And back over the net it goes. Sabres have it, they set it up, blocked again. Dug out by the Hawks, and got to get it over here. They set up a shot, it's blocked, out of bounds. Nicely done. Scarlet Hawks go up 10-9. to nine. And back to serve for the Scarlet Hawks, it's Eli Johnson, number two, out of Fort Worth, Texas. Over the net it goes, a nice serve right in the middle, heart of that Sabre defense, and knocked out of bounds deep oh. by the Sabres. Hawks scored two in a row. Let's see if they can get a run here, Eric. Either yeah, yeah first. I, was, I was saying, neither team has really been able to get on an extended no. run. It's, you know, we're. I don't think we've had a lead more than two points, right? No, this will be the first three point in a row by either team. 
Sabres set up the kill shot block nicely. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, but out, of it is <laughs> out of bounds. Yeah. Won't give it to the Sabres. Yeah, no one's gaining any traction here, so. Both teams dig it in early. Serving now, Nick Stash for the Sabres. Ooh. And it is deep. They Just left. in. <laughs> oh, man. Service yeah. ace there. Yeah, that was one of those, like, you, you make a quick call, yeah. you're not going to play it. Yeah, that was close. That was a nice serve. It's tied that up at 11. That yeah. one is deep, however. And the Scarlet Hawks go back up 5-1. Yeah, they definitely are rotating their libero. So Pulfus just checked out and coming in with Trent Goose's son. So that is the case. And they did have both liberos listed. Keeping them fresh. Oh! The lollipop by the veteran and the leader of the team, Jackson Van Ingen. What a play. Hawks go up 13-11. Let's see if they can get their first three in a row here. Oh, into the net it goes. Riley late. Yeah, service error. I'll pull up the early stats. We can kind of take a look at how things are faring in that department. Back to serve. It's Isaac Dry first. Number 11. Another service ace. And another ace for the Sabres. That's two service aces for the Sabres. They have three service errors. The Hawks have three service errors. Isaac Dreyfus from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, a very beautiful place. I used to go camping up there. Can't go wrong camping in Wisconsin. No, sir, you cannot. Beautiful. Nice. And that one is deflected out of bounds. And the Hawks get the points and go up 14 to 13, now serving. Yeah, Pulf has got a piece of it, but just wasn't able to square it up, goes out of bounds. And again, just a one-point lead here. Jackson Benning and a good, great server. Gets Rockford. He had about nine points in a row, but it is deflected. Riley Late misplayed that one. Oh, excuse me, Jackson Benning misplayed that. Yeah, I give more credit to Mark Ray on the kill from Marion, though. It's a tough one to dig out, but uh, yeah, that was a great shot. A lot of authority there by Ray. <laughs> Authority. Right, right, right. Into the net. Service error. Back and forth we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think the way it's going, both teams are kind of on pace for service errors in the sort of like 16, 18 range, the way Ooh. things are going here in set one. And that hits hit D by the Sabres score for the Hawks. Still serving for the Hawks, Paul Henderson. He's got a great serve. Over the net it goes, picked up by the Sabres. Oh, oh, nice. And a kill shot by the Sabres. Still, neither team able to get more than three, uh, two points in a row here. This is. And that one was set up kind of perfectly. He didn't even have to go high for that one. He just you know, kind it of set right. it up just over the net. There's a Ooh. line drive shot down. Oh, Jelani's. Oh, they were able to recover the one. Right, that was back and forth. They go another kill shot. Oh, deflected out of bounds by the Hawks. Yeah. And the Sabres get their second point in a row here. Yeah, and Riley, he did as much as he could to try and keep that one in play, but uh, you know, that one. <laughs> hard to get when it's hit that hard, Eric. He dove for it, though, made a great effort. This one is out of bounds. And the Hawks go back up Cam by Muller. one. Yeah, that's a fifth service error now. Wow. Back and forth. Neither team giving an inch here. Grant Cooper with the serve. Over it goes right down the middle. Picked up by the Sabres. They set it up. And back over they go. Hawks set up their kill shot. It trickles over the net. Sabres pick it up and set up their own shot. Blocked by Jelani Johnson, the sophomore. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, that was called in. Yeah, that was in for sure. And that that was a kill play. Yeah, you're right. That was a nice block by Komodo. Komodo, but right. Marion able to respond and get the cross court kill. Yeah, you're right. No, <laughs> 17 all. This this is this. And you've done enough volleyball matches for Illinois Tech to know they play a lot of close matches. They sure do. And this yeah. is another one. 
This one by David Singer with Sabres hits the net. He goes over. And the kill shot. Riley late. Nicely done. Hawks go back up 18 to 17 as we near the back half of this first game. Now serving Jelani Komodo, the sophomore, over the net it goes. And out of bounds, another surface error. So that'll be the Illinois Tech's fourth. So nine total in this match, five for Marion and four for Illinois Tech. Now serving Keanu Orantiaz. Orantiaz. Hawks set it up, get it over. Now the Sabres set it up, little lollipop, but it's picked up by the libero beautifully. And the kill shot is over and good. Wow. What a play by the Scarlet Hawks. Nice job by Paul Henderson there on that far side. I thought for a minute it dropped on the Hawks' side of the fence, but. Waited for the signal. Yeah. Yeah. he definitely have to do that, uh -huh. both in PA and play-by-play, -play, Aaron. That's right. <laughs> oh, blocked out of bounds. Scarlet Hawks. Lose it out of bounds. Just tied up 19 to 19. Yeah. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Stash serving for the Sabres. He has one of the aces for Marion. That was nicely Deflected done. out of bounds. What a play. Everything looked like they were going to set it up in the middle. And then Eli Johnson went to the far side with that. Nice kill. Nice kill. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. And this is Scarlet Hawks Men's Volleyball up against Marion University out of Wisconsin. And the veteran, Jackson. Riley late on that one. Oh, yeah. Riley late. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, Riley late. I hit that one into the net. We're tied up at 20. Isaac Dreifer serving for the Sabres. Spins the ball. Up it goes. And he hits it right down the middle. Picked up by the libero. And they set, Hawks set it yeah, up. It's going to be four hits, I think. Yeah. yeah four just hits. one too many. Or no. Okay. They're going to say it was out of bounds. Out of bounds. Okay. Sabres take the lead here. Service good. Picked up by the Hawks. Set up the play. The lollipop. Oh, picked up by the Sabres. They get it over. Bounced around by the Sabres. And into the, oh, too many hits. Hawks yeah. score. Tie it up, 21. Yeah, I think that's why the hit wasn't over the net. Because right. they knew it was the fourth hit. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> 21. <laughs> this just, is great. Just trading points right now. Jackson Van Engen, the veteran, the captain, back to serve. I was talking to Coach earlier, and he said Jackson is just a fantastic leader on and off the court for this team. Uh -oh. oh, the lollipop by the Sabres gets in, finds the court, and they take the lead, 22-21. to 21. Now serving for the Sabres, Mark Ray out of Mundelein, Illinois. Hawks set it up. The kill shot hits the top of the beam. Yeah, that's Comes, in play. That's in play. Oh. oh, and into the net. Scoring for the Scarlet Hawks. And we're getting late in this game. It's tied up 22 to 22. Back to serve for the Hawks. Paul Henderson, number yeah. six. Derek Wills and Mary just didn't square that one up enough. Over the net it goes. Sabres set up their play. Backward pass blocked. Picked up by the Hawks, and, and it goes deflected deep, and the Hawks score and take the lead. All right, this will be the first time either team has made three in a row. Paul Henderson, serve is up, over the net, it's good, deep, nice serve. Picked up by the Hawks, oh, it's yeah, deflected. Out. Yeah, Komodo got a piece of it, but again, the trick with blocking is to square it up, and if it's any side of an angle, you're going to see him ricochet out of bounds. And it did. It did at that point. Tied up 23. 
And over the net he goes for the Sabres. Hawks set up the play. And oh, scored. Say deflected? Yeah. It was ruled. Deflected wow. in. Wow. Hawks All get right. the point. 24 to 23. This is it. Grant Cooper yeah. stepped up to the service line to give the Hawks a win. Set point. And there it is. Over the net it goes. Sabres set up the play. Blocked over by the Hawks. Sabres keep it alive. They set up their own play. Oh. Too many hits. And there it is. What happened there? Derek Wills. I, I, just, I think he just lost count there. Yeah, miscommunication on that play. Yeah. And that's the end of the first game. Wow. Your Hawks win 25-23. Each team will switch sides now. Yeah, we'll go ahead, Aaron. We'll take an audio break. Uh, the Hawks leading the Sabres 1-0 here in, uh, in our men's volleyball match here on the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. Welcome back inside the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. We are coming to you live from the beautiful Keating Sports Complex right outside downtown Chicago, Illinois. Your Scarlet Hawks taking on the visiting Marion Sabres. Game one goes to your Scarlet Hawks 25 to 23. Thoughts on that first game, Eric? Well, because it was such a tightly contested set, Aaron, every error was magnified and, and you know, kind of, again, I don't know if Derek Wills had just missed track of the counter or whatever or if if he saw the wall for the block and he, he thought he needed to go around it so either way i think he's going to come out stronger here though and set too you know the the team is kind of giving him some props right now and kind of mm -hmm. pump him up so yeah. but service errors attack errors but service errors you know you lose a point with that it's right. like the other team gains a point with that and marion had a, a couple more i think in in that territory they had five and the Hawks had, no, they both had five. Both had so five. five apiece. So they actually traded points with service errors. All right, here we go. Hawks on the south side of the net, up to serve for the Hawks. Number nine, Grant Cooper. And a lollipop attempted by the Sabres, Ooh. but picked up by the Hawks. Little Barrel pushes it over. And a kill Riley late. 
Wow. What a play, Eric. It, it was a good play, although there was some confusion on the back end where Alec Donald ran to get the ball towards that back line. The, the two players going for the same ball. And for the Hawks' fortune, they were able to get the point out of it. They did. And over the net it goes. Hawks pick it up. And a lollipop attempted, but the Sabres pick it up. Set up their own play. And a kill yeah. shot is made. Isaac drive first, and we're all tied up at one. Now serving for the Sabres, Nick Stats. Sabres on the north side of the court this time as we start game two. And over the net it goes. Hawks set it up. Nice shot is made, but the Sabres pick it up, and up it goes. Picked up nicely by the libero. Alec Donald with a nice dig. Over the net it goes. Sabres set it up once again. And they try a lollipop, but the Hawks are there. And they get it over the net, it goes. Both liberos are earning their pay right now. Yes, they are. And another push by the Sabres, but the Hawks are there again. And kill shot attempt picked up by Trent. Oh! oh he almost had that one. He almost had that what one. What a play. Nice effort there by the Sabres libero, but the Hawks get the point. Yeah, but you mentioned Trent Cusun had that save before that last attempt. What a nice save. Both the barrels. I shouldn't say they're earning their pay. <laughs> none, of, none of these D3 players are getting any nil money, Aaron. <laughs> right, right, right. You know. <laughs> but you know oh. what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, if we got yeah, D3 players making nil money, then uh, they're living right. Right, yeah, right exactly. <laughs> All right, and that point was blocked and out of bounds. Not out of bounds, but uh, in, in play. And the uh, Sabres pick up the point. It's tied up 2-2. Two to two. Sabres serving. Over the net it goes. Picked up by the Hawks. They set up their play. Riley late with the kill shot. Deflected out of bounds. And once again, early in the second game, neither team able to gain some traction. Yeah. That's kind of what you would expect, though, with Marion being 6-2 and two in conference play. Hawks are trying to get to that break-even point. And over the net it goes by the Hawks, picked up by the Sabres. Yeah. And they score a kill shot. Oh. Yeah, that is point. Yeah. It's three to three. Yeah. Now serving for the Sabres, number 10, Mark Ray. And it's deep. Hawks get the point, four to three. Now serving for the Hawks. Riley late. Riley has had a couple service errors in that first set. Not this time, it goes over the net nicely as the Sabres set it up, but it's shot just wide. And the Hawks get the point, go up five to three. Good, maybe that'll be a confidence booster for Riley late and needs to get a consecutive serve over. It's usually one over, one not. And there he goes. goes over again. Sabres set it up, but that one's hit deep. And the Hawks, for the first time to this afternoon, get three points in a row by either team. Hawks up 6-3. to three. Riley Lake still serving. And over the net it goes. Hit backwards. One more hit. They got to get it over, and the Sabres do. Nicely done. Hawks set up their play, and it's hit. Nicely done, kill shot, and the Hawks get their fourth in a row, seven to three. Yeah, and when that happens, all Velasco could do is just try and bump it over the net. He did what he had to do, but keep it, it in set play. up the Hawks nicely for their kill shot. Riley late serving again, over it goes again. Sabres set it up, picked up nicely by the libero for the Hawks. Alec Donald, a lollipop attempt by the Hawks, but Sabres are there, pick it up, they set up the play. Down the middle on the other side, Hawks pick it up. And it oh, trickles nice over. Block. Yeah. Keanu Oranitsis Hayes got a piece of that one and gummed up things for the Hawks there. Nicely done by 17 nice in black. Very nice point for both teams. Now serving their best server. This is number 14, Kim Euler. Woo! Picked up by the Libera. Tug out nicely. Back and forth they go here. Sabres set up the play. Blocked, but picked up by the Hawks. Looked like that one was going to get down, but the Hawks kept it alive. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Got a whistle. They're going to say a lift. 
Got a lift on yeah. the Sabres. Underneath on it, so they're giving the ball handling error, I think, to Nick Stash. <clears throat> Hawks go up eight to four. Back serving. It's the veteran and the leader, Jackson Van Engen. Over it goes. Hawks pick it up, set up the play. Down and a kill shot. Nicely done. Grant Cooper gives the Hawks an early lead, nine to four. Yeah, cross court kill coming over from that far side for Cooper. Nice set there from Eli Johnson. Biggest lead of the match. Back to serve again. Yeah. This one's hit deep. And the point goes to the Sabres. That's the thing with service errors. Like, you just want to give your team a chance. And a service error, you know, you're, you're just giving away a point. You right. don't want those things to add up. You want to be consistent. They Here. happen. I mean, obviously, they're going to happen, but you want to limit them. Oh, Grant Cooper. Another. He's feeling it over on that far a side. Thunder Aaron. kill from yeah. Grant Cooper. Somebody call an ambulance for that spot on the floor. <laughs> Now serving number six, Paul Henderson. Ball is up and over, and it is an ace for the sophomore. Well, you had mentioned back in the first set that he's the best server for the Scarlet Hawks, and I would I would agree with that. He, he, usually, when the Hawks go on a run, when he's serving, you know, you'll see consecutive points scored sometimes when number six is in the server's box and. You know, that was a, a good example of that, him able to secure the service ace and forcing the Marion coach to call timeout here. And it was a beautiful play by young Paul Henderson. We've got a timeout here in the court. Sabres call the timeout, their first one, first one of the game, by the way. Again, if you're just tuning in to the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network, game one went to your Scarlet Hawks, 25-23, to 23, an outstanding game. But now, here in game two, your Scarlet Hawks up 11-5, excuse me, and serving at this point, so nice early lead for the Scarlet Hawks, but they don't want to get comfortable. No, they don't, they don't. And you had also mentioned the Hawks' next game is against Concordia, Wisconsin, which that being the case, you know, those are still teams that are in front of them, right? You know, Mary's, Marion's in front of them in the standings. Oh, it's actually Concordia, Chicago, Chicago. on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then Concordia, Wisconsin <laughs> on Saturday. So. Concordia Chicago is right behind them in the standings, and then obviously CUW is in front of them. So the, every game is important this late in the season. There's only a handful left. I hate to be the bus driver and go to the wrong school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a play. Oh. Did they tug it out? Oh, yeah. they're going to say, yeah. It's a good effort, though. I thought uh, C.J. Kendrick, I thought he got underneath it, but... Uh, it just wasn't able to hit the floor. That's yeah. a score for the Hawks. 12 to 5 lead. Over the net he goes. Paul Henderson still serving, by the way. Sabres set it up. Is that tip? And yeah. it's tipped out of bounds. Yeah. Point goes to the Sabres. 12 to 6 now. So a quick update on the stats here. Six apiece for service errors. Three service aces for the Hawks, two for Marion. And a kill for Jelani Komodo. How about that? Wow. <laughs> To Lonnie Komodo, the sophomore, gives the Hawks a 13-6 lead here. It's the attack percentage right now for Marion. They're only hitting 115. Hawks sitting at 286 mm. in the middle way through set two. So that's pretty good. Grant Cooper gets the serve over. Sabres set it up. Brought back in by the libero for the Hawks and kept in play. Sabres set up their kill shot. It's picked up by the Hawks beautifully. Hawks set up the play to get it over on the third hit. Sabres try to set it up again. And they set up the wall. Hawks are ready for it this time. The oh, 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 what a D. What a recovery by Marion. I thought Eli Johnson had that one picked. Oh, that was deflected. That deflected out of bounds. Wow. Hawks pick up the point. What a play, though. That was a heck of a volley here by both teams. Man, I didn't think they had a chance when Trent Johnson Goose, did the teardrop. Trent Goose's son. Picking up the lollipop. Oh, too oh. strong. That's be the Hawks' seventh serve error. And it's 14 to 7. Now serving for the Sabres, number six, Nick Stash. He gets the whistle. Over the net it goes. Hawks pick it up, set up their play. What a nice. 
Nice tip and a kill shot. Uh, I think it's out of oh, bounds. Gonna, yeah, it was out. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah wow. I thought it looked out too, yeah. Yeah, I thought it looked a little wide. It's 14-8 here in game two. Saber set it up over the net. It goes. Hawks are ready. Oh, what a play by the libero, Alex Don Alec Donald. Kept in play. Blocked out of bounds. Sabres. Yeah, that's a big point. Marion needed that point yeah, right there. needed that one. Hawks trying to get the possession back to stem the tide of the Sabres here. Over the net it goes. And deep. Score for the Hawks. Now serving for the Hawks. Number 24, Jelani Komodo. Sophomore out of Alpharetta, Georgia. Over the net it goes. Sabres set it up. And the kill shot is clean for the Sabres, untouched. 15 to 10, Sabres serving. Number 11, Isaac Dreyfus. He gets the whistle, up it goes over the net. Hawks pick it up, set up the play. They do, the lollipop yeah. is in! <laughs> Score for the Hawks. Able to stem the tide of the Sabres real quick that time, Eric. Yeah, that's what I love about volleyball. You have to make those quick decisions at the line. Setters have to make that decision, and obviously, if you're on the attack, that was a great decision by Jackson Van Egan on that last one to just use the teardrop and find the soft spot on the floor. And he found that open spot. He saw it, and he attacked it. Yeah. But Marion gets a point right back. There's still one in five. Another service here for Eli Elijah, Elijah Johnson. That's their eighth now. Over the net, back and forth they go. Sabres set it up here. Number seven, trying to get the kill shot. Yeah, I think it was and deflected. Out of bounds. Oh, no, out. out. It was oh, deep. Okay. Hawks get the point, go up 17-11. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not officiated because I thought it was <laughs> deflected. So, so I'll, I'll let the officials and the judges uh, right, right. handle yeah. the, their work. Yeah, that's right. That's what they do. Oh, another service here, a back-to-back -back service yeah. here. Riley late this time in the net. And here he is, a dangerous server yeah, for the Sabres, Cam Euler. Yeah, he brings it. He's got some heat. Another great serve. Dug out by the libero, Alec oh. Donald. Hawks pick it up into the net. And the Sabres getting closer, 17 to 13. Nice stuff job there by Oranitsis Hayes to block that ball at the line and just stuff it back into the Hawks' side of the fence. Still serving Cam Mueller, and what a serve it is. Picked up by the Hawks, set up to play. They get it over on three. Sabres set up their own kill shot, but it's picked up by the Hawks right in the heart of the defense. And down it goes. What a shot! Hits the veteran, Jackson Van Ingen, giving the Hawks a five-point lead. Also serving Jackson Van Ingen. Up it goes and over. Picked up by the Sabres, libero. Hawks get it over, a little lollipop, but picked up by the Hawks. They set up their own play on the left side, and back over it goes. And the Sabres have it now, pick it up. And they get a nice kill shot, deflected by the Hawks. Back and forth they go. Sabres set up the play. A kill shot and deflected out of bounds. Yeah. Boy, that, that sequence had a lot of everything there. You had Jackson Van Egen in the role of a setter there, which is, you know, <laughs> kind of outside his comfort zone. They all have to do it from time to time. But and then not only did he do it, but then he did like a back set. <laughs> that was a, that was an interesting volley there. Saber serving number seven, David, no, excuse me, Derek Willis. Over the net it goes. Hawks pick it up, set up the play. Kill shot into the net. But the Sabres pick yeah. it up. Paul Henderson with some authority on that one. He can do it. He can bring it. And then he moves into the serve box, so that's a good scenario for the Scarlet Hawks. Of course, as soon as I say that, I jinx <laughs> them, right? Yeah. 
And into the net it goes. I think we're at 10 now, service errors for the Hawks. Score is 19 to 15, Sabres serving. Number 17, Kiana Orin. To and then he gets one. And that's a service error. That'll be their eighth. Grant Cooper serving for the Scarlet Hawks. Up it goes. He eyes the net and over. It's a good serve. The libero gets it over on one hit for the Sabres. Hawks set up the play. And it's in. Riley late with the kill shot. Yeah, late hammered that one home. Cross court kill coming over from the far side. And we get our second timeout called by head coach Noah Ray and the Sabres. Beautiful. All right, well, why don't we take an audio break, and then we'll come back, Aaron. Sounds good. You're listening to the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. Welcome back inside the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. You're listening to your Scarlet Hawks men's volleyball. Giving you up-to-date scores. Game two, it is the Hawks 21-15. Serving for the Hawks, Grant Cooper. Over the net it goes. What a serve. Picked up right in the heart of the defense. Sabres get it. Blocked back by the Hawks. Sabres set up their defense. Hawks get it over. And they score! Eli Johnson. Hawks go up by seven, 22 to 15 here in game two. After taking game one, 25-23, against a very, very good Marion team. Over the net it goes, Cooper with another serve. Hawks set up their kill, excuse me, Sabres set up their kill. Hawks block it, block it back. Back and forth they go, Sabres set it up. And kill shot is blocked again by the Hawks, picked up. Sabres set it up again, and yeah, I think deflected. deflected it was. Yeah, that one was deflected. Hawks are doing a good job, though, on those near side attacks from Isaac Dryfirst. Several times where he's going up for the kill there. They're, if they don't block it at the line, they're at least getting a piece of it and slowing it down so the back line can pick it up. Sabres get it over to the end of the serve, and it's another shot. Riley late with the thunder kill. Giving the Hawks a 23-16 as they inch closer to a game to win. Back to serve now. It's the sophomore, Jelani Komodo. As the ball spins, gets it over. Not a whole lot of heat, but he's very consistent with the serving. Yep. And for Blocked the Hawks, the they need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can use some consistency, so now they move into set point here in it's, set two. Set point, 24-16. to Jelani serving for game two. He gets the whistle. Uh, it's the ball that goes over, and it's a good one. Sabres set up this. Oh, yeah. what a play. A little bit different when 14 in black is uh, doing that near side kill. It's like he definitely got up there, and no one was going to touch that one. Nice kill there. 6'6", six, six, Cam Mueller putting a dent in the floor with that hit. Back to serve for Sabres number 11. Isaac Dreyfus, and it's long, and that's game two to the Hawks to your Scarlet Hawks, 25 to 17. Once again, you are listening to the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. We'll be back with game three from the Keating Sports Complex in Chicago, Illinois.
Welcome back inside the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. Coming to you live at the beautiful Keating Sports Complex in downtown Chicago, Illinois. And we're going to give you these stats. Eric's going to go over some of these stats with you for game two. Yeah, let's take a look at the stats. So Hawks up two sets to nothing. They won set one, 25-23. That was a marathon. Not a marathon. I mean, it didn't go extra points, but there wasn't a whole lot of give in that one. Second set, a different story. The Hawks able to win that one by eight points, 25-17. to 17. As far as kills... For the Scarlet Hawks, 26 kills, 275 attack percentage for Marion, 20 kills, 139 attack percentage. Service errors, the Hawks have 10, Marion has 9, service aces tied to a piece, 18 assists for Marion and 22 for the Scarlet Hawks, 19 of those coming from Eli Johnson. 30 digs for the Hawks, 28 for Marion. Uh, the reception percentage for the Sabres is at 949 off serves. The Hawks are at 938. As far as blocks are concerned, the Hawks do not have any blocks, and the Marion only has one. There's six block errors apiece on each side of the fence. That'll bring you up to date. Great. That's wonderful. Hawks able to get some traction and get a few points in a row there in that second game and take a strong lead. Here we go for game three. It'll be the Sabres serving this time. Starting this game, number six for the Sabres, Nick Stash out of Des Plaines, Illinois. He has one of the two service aces for Marion. Nice serve right down the middle, picked up by the Hawks. Sabres set it up as they get it back, and it is deep. Hawks score the first point and take the serve. Serving for the Hawks, Elijah Johnson. His last serve was in the net. Let's see if he can get it in play here up it goes and in, into the net again back-to-back -back service here is by Eli Johnson yeah it's not squaring it up how he wants to <clears throat> looks like he's a little bit out in front of that yeah sir it's usually the case now serving Isaac Dreyfus for the Sabres up it goes his tips the top of the net picked up by the Hawks he set up the play and oh, blocked block. beautifully by the Sabres. Not sure. That might have been Aaron Velasco got a piece of it. Sabres take a 2-1 lead here in game three. Still serving. Isaac Dreyfus up it goes. Over the net clean, but it's deep. And the Hawks tie it up at two. Back to serve for the Hawks. It's Riley late. The 6-1 junior gets it up and over. Picked up by the Sabres libero and hit. Oh, what a shot from 5-8 Aaron Velasco out of Honolulu, Hawaii with the kill shot, giving the Sabres a 3-2 lead. That's pretty good. That's getting some hops up That's, there. Man. Over the net goal for the Sabres. Put in play. Hawks set it up. Blocked. Back over and score as the Sabres take a two-point lead. Now we talk about Aaron Velasco, 5'8", but getting up there for the kill. Like, even in my peak physical condition, you could probably just slide a dime <laughs> underneath me, Aaron. That's about it's it. It's a new record. <laughs> over the net, it goes for the Sabres. Hawks set it up, but yeah. blocked again beautifully by the Sabres. Wow. Yeah. Their defense has been. Aaron eats his Hayes got a piece of that one as well. So, yeah, they, they seem to have gained some momentum here, and they have a purpose here in set three. They are not going to go quietly if over they the go at all. Goes. That's right. Over the net it goes. Hawks set it up. And blocked out of bounds. Deflected. Hawks get the point, three to five. And just what they need, the veteran at the service line, Jackson Van Ingen, serving for your Scarlet Hawks. That was the eighth kill for Grant Cooper. And he gets it in, and an ace for the junior, excuse me, senior. Jackson Van Egan, yeah. Serving it up again. Hawks within one, four to five. Up it goes, over the net, a beautiful serve. Picked up by the libero. Oh, what a dig by the Hawks. Can they get it over? They do. I say, oh! Yeah. Whew. That's the downside is 
you recover a ball like that, and the only way to do it is you just get it over softly. That sets up the other team to get their offense set up, and, and that's exactly what happened. Easy kill for the Sabres. And Sabres have their best server behind the net. Oh, tips the top of the net. Hawks set it up, and a kill, and a score. Grant Cooper with the kill shot. Grant Cooper, Riley late, both having big games from that front line. Paul Henderson trying to tie it up now for the Hawks. Up the ball, goes in the air, over the net. Sabres recover, set it up. Oh, and block Jelani. Yeah, Jelani Komodo there, Eli Johnson up there as well. Both. I think Komodo got, Komodo got most of it, but either way, probably goes as a block assist for both, and they tie it up. Tie it up 6-6. Six to six. Paul Henderson doing great work, gets it over again. Oh, blocked by the Hawks. Sabres have it, and they get it back over. Hawks set it up, and the Sabres pick it up. Nice dig. And the out of bounds. No tip, yeah, that one went out. Boy, the Hawks got rescued on that volley there. They just, I Can't thought Cooper either. was gonna get that kill, but he just wasn't able to find that spot. Good response by Marion, but. And the Hawks go up 5-1. That one might have been out. And saved in. Hawks set it up. Oh, out of bounds. Yeah, just little, too far. Right idea, but a little too much there. Yeah. On Grant Cooper. Well, he's had most of that work, and or that working most of this match. So that time just wasn't able to get it where he wanted to. But, you know, keep going to the well until it doesn't work, right? That's right. Until it runs dry. <laughs> Aaron Velasco now serving for the Sabres. Up it goes. The young man gets it over. And set up by the Hawks. Hit over by Jelani Komodo. Sabres set it up. The lollipop yeah. is good by Aaron Velasco. Yeah, Velasco doing a nice job there, recognizing the wall is coming. Already knew what he wanted to do with that and found the soft spot point for the Sabres. And the beautiful thing he did there is he brought his arm back like he was going to hit it hard, yep. and then he tapped it over. Yep. Little, little okey doke. Yeah, the deception, that's a big part of this game. Oh, and it's served wide. And the Hawks tie it up, 8-8. Eight to eight. That's going to force me to go to the stats and give us our service error count. That's the 11th for the Sabres. Wow. 11 apiece for both teams, service errors. Grant Cooper serving for the Hawks over it goes. And that one is good. Picked up by the Sabres. They set it up and block. The Hawks get it. Can he get it over? Yeah. Uh, Score. As that man, Oranitsis Hayes, every time there's like a contested ball at the net, he seems to be at the right place, right time to just stuff it over. Some people have a nose for that. Yeah. And the Sabres get it over. Hawks set it up. Oh, what a recovery there Nicely by done. Velasco. Hawks set it up. It's deflected out. Yeah. And it's 9-9. Nine to nine. Back to serve, Jelani Komodo. 6'5 sophomore. Over it goes. Nice serve. Sabres set it up. Hawks are ready though. Deflected, but they get there. And over it goes. Yeah, they're going to say that one went down. Yeah, got a, a little bit of the floor there. Yeah, CJ Kendrick tried to get underneath that one, but they had ruled that one had touched the floor. Point for the Hawks, they get their lead. Jelani gets another serve over. Sabres set it up, blocked by the Hawks. And the Sabres set it up again, blocked, but it hits the net and falls. Yeah. And ties the game up, 10 apiece. Hawks just kind of mistimed the block there and it fell on their side of the fence. Nick Stash back for the Sabres. We're tied up here in game, set three, 10 to 10. Ooh. Got it over the net. Hawks set it up. A little lollipop and picked up by the Sabres. Sabres libero sets up the play. Hawks deflected back over. Sabres set up another kill shot. And yeah. it one deflected. Grant Cooper. Yeah, Muller's not going to miss that one. And two times in a row, you feed him on that near side. And that time, he hammered it down. Tough ball for Cooper to get. Kim Mueller doing damage. Giving the Sabres one point lead. Sabres serve again. Over it goes. Picked up by Riley Late. And again they go to Cam Mueller. And I'm not sure what the call is, but 
it is a Sabres point as they go up by two. And they're going to continue to go to Cam Mueller until they shut that down. A 6-6. Six, six now force the Hawks to call their timeout there. First timeout of the entire game for the Hawks. You're listening to the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. We'll be back more with more of your Scarlet Hawks men's volleyball. All right, welcome back inside the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. We're coming to you in set number three. Your Scarlet Hawks won the first set 25-23, second set 25-17, and Sabres have a two-point lead and serving 10-12 here in set number three. I'll do a quick stat count on uh, as far as kill leaders are concerned. It's Dreyfus is the leader for Marion with seven. Actually, now he's tied with Muller, who just got his seventh. Also six for Orenitsis for the Sabres. For Illinois Tech, the leader with 13, Riley late. Next, Grant Cooper with nine. Kim, you were having a game. Oh, out that of one out. Yeah. Oh, out of bounds. And the Sabres going on a run here in set number three. Still serving for the Sabres. Number six, Nick Stash over the net. It goes. Hawks pick it up, set up their own play. Picked up by Libera, but deflected, and the Hawks Let's get, get back on the board. 11 to 14. Uh, got to see Eli Johnson if he can square up his serve here. Aaron. Got to get it over here, and he does. Ooh, no contact there. And oh, oh what a placement! Is that Velasco Aaron again? Aaron Velasco again. <laughs> Just Nicely done. Very smart player, a yeah. senior out of Honolulu, Hawaii, and that young man is an intelligent player. I don't know if this is true or not, Aaron, but I gotta envision he played a lot of beach volleyball in Hawaii. <laughs> I have to believe that. Right, right, right. You know, I would assume so. Yeah. And that is deep, and uh, Sabers taking a commanding lead here in yeah. set number three, 11 to 16, serving Isaac Dry first. For the Sabres, Hawks gonna have to make a run here. It's getting late here in set three, and over the, the net it goes for drivers. Hawks set it up, and the Sabres look to set up Cam Mueller, and they do. But this time a lollipop <laughs> right in the heart of the defense freezes the Hawks' defense, expecting another thunderous shot from Cam Mueller, but he gives him a soft touch. Coach Oswald exhorting his back line there to look for those teardrop shots there. They, you know, he, not sure when they're coming, but he's, he's asking for more awareness and positional strength. And that serve was into the net. Hawks get a, a point. And it's over the net. Hawks serve. Sabre set it up, deflected. <laughs> Jackson Van Eken with a little little sauce after that kill, <laughs> or block, I should say. Yeah, he was happy about that one. Trying to get his team going. Riley Late still serving, 13 to 17. Yeah, they need a run here. And the Sabres jostling their roster a little bit. You guys have tissues over here? <laughs> That was purposefully said within our mic <laughs> shot there. <laughs> Trying to make a comment. Coach Oswald as uh, Coach Ray is having a conversation with the officials there. 
Uh, you gotta love the coaching fraternity, right? Absolutely. Coach Oswald doing a great job getting this team fired up and ready for this game today. This yeah. Oh, what wow. a play! Jackson Van Inken. And the Hawks move within three. 14 to 17. Riley Late still serving. Up the goes and over the net. Picked up by the Sabres libero. They set it up. Oh. And it's blocked out of bounds. Hawks yeah. pick up another point. Wow. And now within two. Now the Sabres the call Sabres. their timeout. Yeah. yeah. Great call by you, Eric. You said they needed a run. They went on a run and are back in this game. 15 to 17. We'll be right back on the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. Welcome back inside the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. We're here in set number three. Hawks trying to make a comeback here on a run. Three points in a row, 15 to 17, serving Riley Late. Here we go. Serve is over and a nice serve into the heart of the Sabres defense. That but man again. <laughs> it's Cam Euler wearing a cape today for the Sabres. They go up by three. He knows where to put that ball from that near side and the cross court to the back corner. It's just he's he's got a sweet spot there and he's hard to defend. Mark Ray serving for the Sabres. Up it goes over the net. A really nice serve. Hawks pick it up, set up their play. Paul Henderson with the shot. Knocked out of bounds. And the Hawks gain control once again. Moving within three. Back to serve. Yeah. It's the veteran. Jackson Van Ingen. Up it goes over. Oh, into the net. Not what the Hawks needed. And back to serve. Cam Mueller, their best server for the Sabres. They have a four point lead, 16 to 19. Serve is good, but it's out of bounds wide. Yeah, uh, I thought that was the good call. I, th I thought it was just outside there. Oh, it, it should be not 20. Seven, yeah, yeah, should you be 17 to 19. And Hawks get the serve over. They gave the, the wrong point there. And now it's 17 to 20. And the Sabres get the point. Aaron Velasco now serving for the Sabres. Gets the whistle. Balls in the air over the net. Picked up by the Hawks. They set up the play and deflected out of bounds. Here come the Hawks down by two and serving. Grant Cooper, 6 3 senior, serving now. Gets the whistle. Balls in the air over the net. It goes. Knights serve. Sabres set up the play, Ooh. deflected. Huh. The barrel took one on the chin there. Yeah, sometimes you got to use that any part of your body there. That wasn't the intention, but Alec Donald appears no words for wear. And we're going to get a timeout by the Hawks. Score is 18 to 21. You're listening to the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. We'll be right back 
with the completion of set number two. Excuse me, set number three. Welcome back inside the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. My name is Aaron Janowski coming to you with play-by-play -play announcer Eric Will Willow White. And this is game, excuse me, set number three. And the Sabres serving. Over the net it goes. Hawks with Jelani Kimoto with the kill shot. And that's what every coach is looking for, Aaron. You call a timeout, you want to get the first point after the timeout. Komodi, Komodo, I keep calling him Komodi. Komodo <laughs> sealed the deal there. Yes, he did, and he's serving it and gets over it as usual. The man is consistent. Oh! oh! Off the hands of the Hawks. Yeah, good work by Dreyfus there. Seeing that the wall was coming, and then he just kind of lofted it over the line, found the soft spot point, Sabres. Sabres moving closer to a win here in set number three, but Hawks are not out of it yet. Only down three. And the service is over. Oh! Jackson Van Inken. He's had a few of those today, right? With a little extra. <laughs> Back to serve, Elijah Johnson. Need to get this one over. Gets the whistle. It's up and over. Nice serve. Sabres set up the play. Oh, well, they're going to say... Yeah, it was on the wrong side. I hit the antenna. Well, yeah, they didn't signal it, but they just gave the point to the Hawks. Hawks move within one, 21-22. And now they're going to adjust the antenna there. Yeah, they never gave the signal for the out-of-bounds, but it, it definitely was. That's why the Hawks got the point. And they move 21-22. Elijah Johnson, 5'9 sophomore in a fourth worth, Texas. Set number three. Here we go, gets the whistle. Falls in the air, over the net. Sabres set up the play. Oh! Riley late! Yeah, that happened because from the back line, the receiving ball just went too far, or on the pass, I should say, it went too far. And Riley late just able to tuck it over. Lila Johnson gets it over again. Sabres set it up. We're tied here 22-22. And it's deflected out of bounds. Sabres take a 23-22 lead wow. late in set number three. Huge point. Huge point here. Sabres get it. They set up set point. Serving for the Sabres, number 11. And we have a violation on the serve. And the Hawks tie it up, 23 Back to serve, Riley Late, the 6'1 junior. He gets the whistle, ball's over. Sabres trying to set it up and give it to Cam Mueller, and he gets it oh, in. Good recovery but, by Henderson. What a play, oh, the lollipop, but the Sabres recover, and they set up Cam Mueller again. Hawks are ready, they set up their own play, and pushed. Oh, they're going to say he went into the net. Oh, and the Hawks take the lead here late. Wow. It's set number three, and this is match point. It is. Wow. What a turn of events here, Aaron. Hawks coming on late. I thought Muller had that one squared up. See what I did there? Hawks coming on late. Riley late yeah, serving. I see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Over the net it goes. Another beautiful serve. Sabres set it up. Oh, and there it is. What a play wow. into the net, and the Hawks come all the way back. Down six to win the match. 
in set number three, 25-23, the same score as set number one. Eric, your thoughts on well, today's win for the Hawks? Uh, so I'm trying to think. I, I, I think they're the biggest lead Marion had in that set three. It might have been five points. I know it was four points. I think it was 15-11 at one point there. And then, but coming back midway through the set when you're down that far, and then they just chipped away, chipped away, chipped away, and then able to take that lead at the very tail end. Uh, that was amazing. Some great plays down the end, but uh, that's a great comeback for the Hawks because kind of, they could have cashed it in and said, all right, then we have a 2-1 lead. We can get them in set four. No, they fought back in set three to take and care I of I thought business. it was a great job by Coach Oswald. He called timeouts, got his team together, had them regroup, yeah. had them focus. And like you mentioned earlier, out of that one timeout, the sophomore Jelani Komodo gets the kill yeah. shot, and this is a, the, the Hawks go on a run and come back late and win this match. Yeah, here's some final stats. We'll go over here. So... Riley late, 15 kills for the Hawks, 11 for Grant Cooper, 6 for Jackson Van Engen, uh, 3 service aces, 2 for Paul Henderson, 1 for Jackson Van Engen, 2 for uh, Henderson. As you said, he's the best server for the Hawks, so you server. usually see that. Uh, over on the Marion side, 10 kills for Cam Muller, 9 for Isaac Dry first. So that's, that's a pretty good total there. Service errors actually turned out to be fairly even, 12 for the Hawks, 14 for Marion, so the Hawks kept it down to like low, you know, low teens, 12, so that's what they did in their last match, so they're actually cutting down on their service errors, that's a good sign. As far as attack errors are concerned, uh, Marion had 16, the Hawks had 13, the finishing attack percentages, the Hawks hitting 274, and Marion 173, so just a, that's a, a great match for the Scarlet Hawks, they need it. Because again, you know, you're down to the home stretch here in conference play. You're you're sitting in the seventh spot. Maybe you got an opportunity to move up to six. You're you're not going to get in the top four at this point. But you know, the higher the better, right? So it's so like move out of seven and maybe move in the six. You got to take care of business against Concordia Chicago on Wednesday. Absolutely, Hawks move to four and four, eight and thirteen overall in the season. My name is Aaron Janowski. That was Eric Willow White. You've been listening to the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time on the Scarlet Hawks Broadcast Network.